Good day, everyone. Today is a Friday, 2.59 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a disclosure. Please stop the video and read the risk uh, in the future trading. Yesterday, we had a beautiful run, and today, at the start, the market couldn't find a direction for half an hour, and then the market start trending. As we covered before on every Friday, uh, that some, sometimes, uh, you know, around one o'clock, when all the traders done for this week, sometimes, not every Friday, uh, the market takes direction. And those are beautiful days when the market takes direction. Uh, uh, nobody practically uh, trading, the volume is very low. And normally on a Friday, the market either go all the way up or all the way down. And this is an example I want to show you today what happened on a Friday afternoon. And let's look at the three minutes. Every single chart has closed uh, the trade today, despite a little confusion when the markets open today. Uh, if we are looking on the ES, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, is an Asia trader broker connection? I forgot to say that. If we are looking at that trade on the ES, it is 133. 133, that's what I have said on the previous videos that sometimes on Friday, not every Friday, guys, there is nothing in the market 100%, but on every practically Friday, some of the Fridays right after lunch, the market take off one direction. And if we look at that trade, this one here, it happened at 136, and this is one trade, and we still going down and going down on one trade. And this is the three minutes chart. Let's look on a different chart. This is the YM. For the guys who watched the video yesterday, I said, uh, don't think because you have a lower account uh, 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 it's hard for you to trade the CL. Don't you think that uh, the YM is, is going to make less money? Actually, if the market is trending, you can make more money on the NASDAQ and down zones with, uh, mm -hmm. if you have a reasonable uh, amount uh, of... Uh, so if we are looking at that trade here, it happened earlier today at 10.30, and this is a five minutes a chart on the YM, and we still on that trade from 10.30, and this is only two contracts on the YM, where this one here, the investment is less than $1,000 to invest on two contracts on the YM. And as we see from 10.30, nonstop, the beauty about this strategy that minimum stop loss and uh, today doing the trading in a live trading we've had also uh, $30 stop loss and $20 stop loss if we are looking on the YM this is a very acceptable stop loss why the whole idea is if we notice that area here it is a flat and this is the worst enemy for any auto trade when the market gets flat. If we are looking at that area here, there is not much really going on, it's a stuck. When we had the breakout, so we don't know when the market is going to be flat or a chop or a breakout, we have no clue. So the whole idea with an auto trade and to survive when the market is a flat and take as minimum loss as it could be until this market start breaking out and start moving. Once this market start moving, we are going to move with that market and we're gonna nail it. So the whole strategy is based on minimum stop loss, not 50 takes, not 80 takes. As soon as possible, we need to close that position if the market is not going to our direction. And once the market start going to our direction, we're going to open up 
uh, the, the, uh, the, the auto trade and stay on that trade. In the same time, uh, try to be reasonable with the trend so we can uh, close the market if there's any pullback. The same story here on the Russell. It doesn't matter what time, I mean, the, the amount, I like to see what time. This one, it happened at 1.18 uh, in the afternoon Eastern time. So it is an idea for a guys that have work on Friday early. This one here, it happened at uh, uh, 13.40. We had an earlier trade, didn't work. Welcome to trading. Not every trade is going to uh, work. We had a little bit here uh, uh, on it, but then one small trade, losing trade, the whole thing is waiting on the breakout. And when the market broke, we are with that trade. Let's look at one more. If there is any, yes, here is one more. We had uh, on the ES, uh, this is a five minutes. We had uh, 10.35, one trade. We ended that trade at 12.30, very nice. I mean, it is the timing, it's not the money, it's the timing, it is perfect. So if this market gonna continue trending, then this is our lucky day. And it happened on the first pullback, and that first pullback, it happened around 14.50, and we still on that trade. And this is, um, how we are catching those trades let me show you uh, for the guys because this is uh, the worst part is a lot of traders they over merge themselves and they are in desperate um, for many reasons if they have a bills or they they are in desperate they over merge themselves they don't know how the rhythm on any of this auto trade they want to trade and then they can get in in trouble but today I want to show that uh, today this is an earlier today and I will show the YM and the NASDAQ. Uh, actually today uh, we had uh, trades on the, the 288 and the 244. If we notice on the 244 when the market was chopped, you can see some of those trades and they were live uh, trades. Some of them we closed on $30 a stop loss. And then you can see as an example, here is a clear picture on the NASDAQ today. Uh, we have an entry long at 82 level, and then we close at 80.50. This is a three ticks, uh, folks, on, on a stop loss. The second one we took short, I don't remember those numbers, but I know they were around $30, $35 and closer. Then when the market broke out, we are, and there is a small trade here, it didn't work. And then when the market broke out, we nailed it. So to 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 help this trader, uh, doesn't matter which auto trade uh, he is a trading today. Let me let's go back to the 9:30 when the market is open. And this is a one minute. And here is your 9:30 when the market is open. You can see this market um, uh, was taken long at the first when the market's open. And then, actually, I have them recorded on a live trade. And then what happened, the market uh, pulled back, and then we tried to enter the market. It didn't work. Then we closed it. But then the market started breaking out at 947. And this is where is the secret is. If you are using an auto trade with a 50, and I have seen it, I have seen some of my trader uh, have purchased uh, an auto trade where uh, the stop loss, not from us, thanks God, uh, where uh, the guy gave them uh, uh, a setting with 50 ticks of stop loss and 80 ticks of stop loss and call it swing trading. This is a disaster because we have no clue when the market is going to uh, break out. We have no clue if this market is going to be um, a flat today. We have no clue what this market uh, gonna happen in five minutes from now. So that's why we have to be prepared when this 
market is a flat or is not moving anywhere we're not given all our money so it has to be the stop loss the management in the auto trade is more important than the auto trade itself because if we are using a big or a huge stop loss or a dummy trailing stop that is gonna make us go in and out of the market a lot which that jeopardize your your account when you are going in and out of the the the, the market a lot especially for traders don't have the extra years experience with them they just uh, have an auto trade because they're trying to avoid uh, the whole trading that's that's very fine I can accept that but also it is our job from now on uh, I wanted to uh, explain how things can work with the auto trade stand blaming on the auto trade I would like for those traders to understand those new traders to understand what happened what why you made money today and why you lost money today this is the most important for me the trader understand what's going on so so if you started your auto trade today around nine o'clock probably you lost a couple of trades or three trades in that matter but then because it's very uh, acceptable those uh, stop losses that you can afford to stay in the rain trading until we find the first breakout and as i covered in my previous video <clears throat> every time this market break out and uh, makes a very nice trend we're gonna have a sideway especially for those guys that like to trade 24 7 and I've been this is one of our biggest problem to hold those guys back that you cannot simply trade 24 hours and here is a reason when the market was a trending very fine everybody was making money brilliant but when this market start getting a flat this is this is a very very uh, a critical area where the auto trade is gonna fail to make ticks because there is no ticks uh, to get in there and that is that area here can potentially make you lose the money so uh, we don't need for the auto traders to sit behind the screen and 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 learn uh, price action or learn how to trade but they also have to learn when to stop how to manage the auto trade when to auto trade and how long you can stay in the market this is your job you cannot just take it on everybody and not pointing your finger to yourself for a guy is a trading and is stopped here he's walking away happy for the guy is insisting on staying and uh, trying to get more money you can be making more money or you can be losing all the money you made today so this is something for the traders have to understand what's going on in the market and how you can trade and i mean you cannot just as i said before folks you cannot just turn on the auto trade and hide our face under a pillow and we are hoping everything is going to be okay we need to face the fact we need to uh, uh, look at the chart what's going on uh, as an investor as a trader you have to look at the chart some traders are refusing even to look at the chart and that it is uh, not a uh, fair game for them uh, uh they 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 don't they don't want to even look at that chart i don't see how you want to trade if you don't want to even look at that chart to them is i have an auto trade and that auto trade has to make money fair enough but any auto trade there is limitation and there is an equation for that auto trade and you have to understand the equation match with this market because the market sometimes can be flat the market sometimes can be trending sometimes the market is very slow and every day it comes with a different color so we cannot just hide our head under a pillow and say it's not our problem it is the trader problem to understand what's going on in the market every single day before he activate the auto trade 
Other than that, he's not going to get anywhere with any auto trade, with any uh, trading system, that's for sure. The rest of them, I'm not going to be covering all of them because most of them, uh, I mean, we got every a single uh, chart hit the target. Some of them did extremely well. Some of them did a little bit less. For something else I want to cover uh, today, uh, for the guys overnight or they are overseas, uh, I want to cover the three range. Why the three range on the NASDAQ? The three range on the NASDAQ, I'm not going to be saying every day, but overnight trading, especially for guys in Australia or in Europe or somewhere else uh, in the, I don't know. But I left it on purpose, this one here, uh, because this is one of the options you can do by your broker that you say, I only wanted to have maximum losses at $300 a day. You can talk, contact your broker and then after, actually I have one um, uh, trader, that's what he have set it up with his broker. It's only on $350 a day. The things is with this one here overnight, if I can set it up at $375 by my broker, so it will not take any more trades, you can set your $300 target uh, on the auto trade and then say, you know what, once we hit the 300, let the auto trade stop. You can do that on the auto trade, but for safety, you can contact your broker and say, once I hit the 300 or 350, please do not allow any more access to the trades. And they can do that for you. I don't know the details, but uh, I know I have um, uh, I have some traders and I saw it today myself. So, uh, but what is nice about it, this one here at the three range, it is for overnight. And that's why, and uh, uh, if we notice on the last trade on this one here, it was at 6.31 early in this morning and it hit it. It is a small trade because overnight, and uh, actually the YM, I wish I saved the picture, overnight uh, the YM hit $1,700 overnight. So. Uh, could be your lucky day uh, either direction if you can have a limit uh, with your broker on a 350 or you can set it up to maximum losses of $350 or $300 on the uh, on your auto trade and that for the guys are overseas uh, you can have it uh, or in the state uh, at least I can sleep in one piece and not worry about that trade because it's going to close itself at 350. I find it is a brilliant idea and I think it's a very nice service uh, by the brokers to do that because we have today a guy, uh, um, uh, he have that system by his broker. So we can see right now the ES hit the last trade and hit uh, 712 o'clock, that's uh, 712, that's okay. Let's look at the CL one minute today. Oh, wow. Okay, the CL took that trade at um, uh, 8.44, and we were done at uh, 10.12, actually. That's good. And let's look at the 1 o'clock. You see, guys, here is uh, around 1 o'clock. Beautiful. That would have taken the the auto trade would take it right there, because this is the first pullback around one o'clock, and if I turn it on the auto trade by one o'clock because it's a Friday one o'clock, this is where normally the markets start taking direction, would have nailed from sixty five to somewhere here. I mean this is not bad at all uh, trend, and uh, that would have been extremely nice. I want to cover the, the price action today. On the price action, this one here comes with a three different uh, type of uh, auto trading. And uh, you can do ATM or ATM strategy. Uh, and they all fire the same signal. And um, 
the same time, you have a market analyzer giving you the signal, the, the entry, the target, and the trailing stop and the stop loss. As I, ha I have covered uh, the last couple of days on this uh, platform, uh, that for those guys have uh, a good size amount of money. If we notice right now on the last signal, not all day long, on the last signal, folks, on the last entry, on the last, when the market gives you a new signal, we have 566 ticks based on one lot. And for the guy has money, uh, can hatch or have enough money to hatch the future. If he's taken one contract, one contract, one contract, one contract, those are what, around 20, 30,000? Plus he have to have around 20, 30,000 on the side because you, do, you cannot over merge yourself. But uh, this one here, you don't need to wait till it gets 600 takes in a profit because that's around 586 takes. This guy is hedging the market. He care less if the CL has nine takes down. He care less because he's not looking at uh, this, the details on the bar. He's hedging the future. He's looking at the total. So once we get the 100 take, you can just right click and, and flatten everything. So the, of course, the guy has more money in the account. He has much more advantage from this guy uh, chasing one bar and one small stop loss and one uh, instrument. This guy have harder work than this guy just looking at this market and in, in, in a bigger picture. Uh, the same story. If we look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ, we have a sell entry at 6833. This one here is 6833. And then it tells you where is the target on the NASDAQ. Here is the NASDAQ. It tells you the target is 6782.75. We hit the target. We don't need to worry about this bar plus and minus because this can be generated by the buyers and the sellers and the FIBs. That's a different story. We don't need to. But you can copy those trades and you can do it manually or auto trading. Or, I mean, you can auto trade it because you don't need to make a decision. The decisions are already made on the chart. Uh, the same story on the uh, Forex. Uh, you can use it. Uh, on the Forex and this one the Forex is uh, based on 10,000 and then uh, You can use and all of it is based on one minute folks. It's not 15 minutes. It's not 20 minutes It's not one of those weird charts is a real one minute chart the same thing on the uh, uh, stocks it is a one minute chart and it tells you exactly what where is your entry which direction uh, uh, the market and even if you don't trade the stocks like today as an example we have the YM was not sure which direction want to go and uh, the market at the first half an hour couldn't find a really direction today on a Friday but at least by looking at the chart here on the stock you can see most of the stocks that were in a red that can give you a direction sometimes it is very important even if you are trying to auto trade because also there is something small details I mean we don't need to learn price action for many years as an example today caught my eye on the market analyzer and this is has happened to us today that when we are trading we have the YM taking long and the Nasdaq taking short so in the same time so this is a very, very critical area also for your, uh, if you are an auto trader. Um, a big partial of the auto traders, they don't want to even look at the chart. They don't want to even uh, look at the market. They just want to look at the end of the day, the money. And if they make money, you don't hear a beep. But if they lose money, they need to punt, uh, the, uh, blame somebody. And that's how it is. We cannot do anything about it. But for those guys, they are in between auto trading and they care about their money and they care about looking at the market to see what's going on. This is one of the very privileged when you see 
uh, the market analyzer going in the same direction uh, let's say on the ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. It used to be in the old days that NASDAQ followed the ES and the YM uh, blindly. Uh, during those last few years with the internet, the market flattened out, uh, the market become, uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's a different ball game. Now the NASDAQ can go by itself and dismiss the ES and the YM. However, the NASDAQ still stops at the major support resistance on the ES, waiting on the confirmation. So if this ES hold, the NASDAQ pull back. If this ES, uh, so still respect the ES on the main line. And that's why you see sometimes the volatility on the NASDAQ. I'm not trying to teach a trading on a, on a YouTube, but what we can do a very simple, it is very nice to see it is very nice if you are trying to to start your auto trade at any given time it is nice to see the es is in one direction the nasdaq on the same direction and the ym on the same direction so earlier today around 9 30 i had the nasdaq to the plus and i have the es to the short direction i have the ym was loose between those two so that can give you immediately for the guys are trading the ym and the nasdaq that there is something wrong in the market the market cannot find direction because once this market find direction your auto trade is gonna nail it i'm not worried about that but those small things in the trading you have to face it you have to understand that Sometimes the market can be a uh, loss of uh, direction. We are waiting on the big boys to find a direction for us because we cannot sometimes find direction in the market. Even if you are one of the oldest traders, you sometimes it's very hard to read where is this market going, if it's going down or up. Sometimes you have conflicted in news where good results like today come out and a bad results came out on the other side so this is this is, is gonna confuse the trend in the market so for those guys i'm, I'm pointing this to my traders if you can <coughs> excuse me you know i'm sorry at the end of the day when i'm talking uh, usually I'm, i've been awake 16 hours and and uh now i mean you know i ran out of batteries when i I do the, the videos. I mean, it's been a long day, and every day is a long day. I mean, we put around 16 hours, so I apologize when my f voice trying to be um, sound like I'm very tired, but I mean, you know, from four o'clock in the morning till uh, uh, the market close sometimes, you know, can be too much. But if we are, especially for my traders, when you see this market, just take a look i don't want you to analyze the market i don't want you to 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 learn the price action i give up on that area here but at least if we can see the es and the nasdaq and the Dow jones are in the same direction that indicate that this market go in one direction so what we can do on that so what we can do on that we can say directing this auto trade to short trade only can you see so now i'm directing that auto trade to go short trade only so now it's not gonna take long anymore or if i need to step out of the or if you see this uh, 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 market analyzer it's not in sequence that's very fine then we can pause until that ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones are in sequence in the same direction because that system tuned, you know, is very well tuned. So it's a study in the price action, a study in the high lows, a study in the high time frame. So when we are looking at the market analyzer here and we see those three in the same direction, if we noticed a minute ago, the 30 year treasury bond was on the same direction of the es this is something wrong so right now by the 30-year treasury bond we have a buy signal that confirming 
the market is not over yet by the short with the ES and NASDAQ and because the, the 30 year Treasury bond goes the opposite. So I don't want any trader to, to learn the price action anymore, but at least those small things in your, in your trading uh, to keep your eye on the market analyzer. If you come in today, you want to trade. If you see the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, they're not in the same direction. Wait five minutes. Wait 10 minutes. It's fine. At 9.30, if you see one is going up and one is going down, especially those three, if you want it to be more advanced, that will be nice if the 30-year Treasury bond to the plus, as you see right now, we have a new target, uh, new signal on the 30-year Treasury bond. And if you notice right now, because there is a new target on the 30-year Treasury bond, now uh, we have the entry. And now it is uh, going and we only have two takes, but now the total uh, profit on this one here is 743 takes from the minute we started uh, the uh, the video. So now we can see here uh, the ES is down, the NASDAQ is down, the YM is down, and the 30-year Treasury bond is up. That immediately can tell you that market is in sequence. It's not going to make it different, but at least now it is much safer to turn on your auto trade. And it takes you one second to just look at it. So if we are looking at uh, the, the, the price action, this is the new signal with the 30-year Treasury bond. It tells you uh, where is uh, the safe entry, the entry uh, price tell you what direction the entry price was 145.04 this is 145.04 and telling us is uh, the 145.12 is, is the, the target that's very fine in between we have a, a nice fib here so if you don't want to wait all the way to the target like now we need to close uh, the, um, I mean, if you want to close your uh, trades uh, or you need to leave, at least you know where is your line. At least you will not be missing that much. You can probably put your order, a sell order here, or you can put your sell order here, a few ticks below the target and call it off. So also, if you want to, you can uh, put your auto trade, uh, the swing trade in, on that chart here and you can keep your eye on it and that will be nice to have a second opinion for the ones they want to work but uh, sadly most of the auto traders they don't even want to look at that chart i can understand that uh, but uh, for the guys they want it to be more uh, to that direction of trading and, and uh, they want to make it as a job uh, for them, uh, soon or later, you have to look at the chart because you cannot just uh, make your bet the rest of your life and you, with your eyes closed, folks. This is all about money, and and uh, there is no uh, no picnic in the trading, believe me or not. Uh, one of the things, like today, um, I mean, sometimes we, we can get mad um, we have one trader, I had the NASDAQ and the YM, and then he said, I'm jumping on the ES. Then he switches auto trade to an ES. One minute after the the YM, I think, or the NASDAQ hit $700 within seconds, and he was just jumping why he did this. So even if we don't do anything wrong, we can really be pissed in this business sometimes. As you see right now, the 30-year Treasury bond, we got a new uh, entry and we are climbing to the that number or to this projection. We'll find out. Let's look to another chart. If we are looking at the YM, this is a one minute uh, YM. We had an entry. If we notice this uh, YM all day long, short. And uh, on a Friday, sometimes it is uh, very hard 
uh, to uh, reverse the markets on a Friday, actually. This is the worst day, is uh, Friday reversing the market, which I love reversal. Uh, we had an entry at, uh, a sell entry at uh, 59.22. And the target is, look at this, how, how many ticks does YM? The YM did 378 ticks. And that is based on one contract, folks. Three, four years ago, if you're asking me about swing trading, I would have run. I mean, I say swing trading, no, 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 no. But because of the internet and and the market, uh, the, the the prices got smoother because now I was uh, just talking about it today to somebody. And now we have a traders are in and out of the markets within seconds and the execution is, is just splits of second. Uh, the prices has smoothed out a lot. It's a total different ball game from 10 or 20 years ago. So, uh, three years ago, if you talk to me about the swing trading, I say this guy is a med. I mean, why he want to swing trading? But uh, now, because of the speed, and uh, if you're trying to pinpoint where is this bar going, uh, that is going to drive any trader crazy, actually. Or maybe because now, um, I don't know, maybe I don't have the patience anymore to, to look at the bar and, and trying to predict it. I don't know, but uh, I find right now in this age that uh, the most success trading right now is in the swing trading, not in and out of the market. The reason is we're looking at this picture in, in, in a different way. We cannot anymore react to every single bar movement. Uh, the, the, the used to be very good this way, but uh, now, I mean, um, if you don't swing the market, you're gonna be, uh, dive into a lot of noises in this business. And, and that can uh, make uh, any trader, the aggravation trying to predict this bar especially guys on a, a, a smaller account, the, fus the frustration, it is overwhelming and they have to blame somebody. So I think for the guy, like what I said on the last video and I showed you, for the guy have uh, the small amount, he need to start with uh, one YM and one NASDAQ. Even for the guy, uh, today I have a new guy. I told him, I don't care if you have 3,000, 30,000, or 300,000. It is good to start with one contract on the YM and NASDAQ to get the habit of that auto trade and try to understand when this market is breaking out, when the market is flat. And then you can start increasing your lots from one contract to three to five to whatever you want to do. But it is very important to understand the movement in the market when you first start the auto trade. And then try to survive. And this is the key where a lot of traders do not pay attention to. Not to give too much money on the stop loss as little as possible until we catch a trend, and once we catch a trend, it's over. Folks, wish you a very, very pleasant uh, weekend, and uh, God bless you all, and we'll see you uh, next week. Bye for now.